amazing brand, a super powerful surround sound position in the market, and as we just talked about, uh, a beautifully translated magazine in print. Great photography, great design. Um, you know, Food Network, as I said, has power on its own, plus the entertainment piece of it is absolutely, you know, not stoppable. It's a consumer favorite, and that's, and that's the lead point on all of it. I think 20 years ago, you didn't even have a celebrity chef. Now, Food Network, literally as a brand, has created all of these personalities. I mean, there's young, there's old, there's someone for everyone. And as you know, you know, we've had the TV for many, many years, and we've got digital for many, many years, both very successful in their own right. And we have many other pieces of the brand that surround sound a consumer. But consumers said they wanted this magazine. And the minute it came out on the newsstand, as you know, it flew off the newsstands. And we hit a million circulation, literally, in, in four issues, which is, as you know, unheard of. And right now, today, we're at about 1.58 million over delivering since we started over 7 million readers. So I think this is the real deal. All of the stars are aligned here. We've got food is on fire. So in our country, people who never, people who don't even like to cook love Food Network. I think again, this brand has something very special about it. And as we discussed, the interpretation of the brand. And um, I think this is a very, obviously a very different proposition. And from what I'm seeing, I think I told you, um, our Jan Feb issue just uh, did terrific on newsstand. And that's not usually one of our biggest selling issues. Um, the content, as you know, is completely integrated, 360. And of course, we do the same for advertising. There's not a lot of brands, I don't think there's any other than maybe one other that can that can actually deliver that. We're doing Food Network Magazine for Kids, which is very exciting. Um, I think I mentioned that literally over 12 million kids um, are watching Food Network programming, which is a huge amount. And we get letters all the time from women who read the magazine. We actually have more women readers than Real Simple has women readers. And they're cooking with their kids every single month. So we're literally creating a, a mini magazine called Food Network Magazine for Kids, and that will run in our September back to school issue. And um, the consumers are really excited about it. When people travel, it's food focused. You go to Italy, it's about the food. And so what our editors are doing are creating in the May issue, Food Network Magazine Travel, all edited through the eyes of our celebrity chefs. So you'll see guys, you know, favorite, um, uh, let's say, breakfast haunt in uh, San Francisco and where he recommends going and the hotel that he would recommend staying in. So it'll be a lot of fun. Um, it'll be exciting. And again, all edited through all of the various chefs' eyes. Honestly, and you laughed the last time I answered it, but it's the truth, not having enough hours in the day. And that really is the truth. Um, I wish there were more hours, we could be doing more work. I mean, you, you see what we put out with a pretty lean team every single month, um, and we're proud of all of it. But there's not a, there's not a lot to worry about. We're, we're excited. It's big, it's growing. Um, and we're, and we're reaching the right types of people with the right, with the right kind of edit. So um, it's all good.